Hello everyone, I'm Iriris. Today I'm going to talk about One Piece. I'm going to discuss One Piece manga chapter 1074 today. First, let's recap what happened in this chapter. We see new pacifistas at the beginning of the chapter. Sentamara gives them the order to help Vegapunk and the Straw Hat crew in escaping the island. On the next page, everyone is assembled in the lab's control room. The current situation, according to Shaka, has two major problems. First, they lose control of the border dome and Stella, the real body of Vega Punk, disappears. Shaka says he can see Bonnie on the monitors when Luffy remarks that they were unable to find her as well. Shaka attempts to fix the border dome, while the others, with the exception of Zoro and Luffy, search for Stella. Zoro and Luffy are keeping an eye on Luchi and Kaku. The next page shows Bonnie in what appears to be a grassy field-like memory world. Vega Punk is not on her side. Bonnie witnesses several individuals mistreating the little Kuma. Pythagoras is looking for the real Vega Punk, as can be seen in the other panel. The other panel shows Pythagoras looking for the genuine Vega Punk. Pythagoras turns around after sensing something, and the section of the building where he is located explodes. The World Economy newspaper's airship is seen flying in the air on the following page. In addition to Morgans, there are Vivi and Wapple aboard the ship. Kinderella, Wapple's wife, is nowhere to be seen. After learning that the world government wanted to assassinate Vega Punk and that Luffy was an egghead, Morgans told his staff, Yonka Straw Hat Luffy takes Vega Punk hostage, and ordered them to make their headline. Vivi disagrees with this and says that Luffy would never do such a thing. Morgans tells Vivi not to teach his how to do his job. This is the chapter's quick summary. There are a few things in specifically that I want to bring up and talk about. The first is the topic of whether any Vega punks are traitors. After reading this chapter, I think there is a significantly higher possibility that a Vega punk will turn traitor. In all honesty, having this many bugs is unusual. Also, Pythagoras was attacked. Kaku and Luchi are being watched by Zoro and Luffy. Therefore, Kaku and Luchi cannot be the ones attacking Pythagoras. The attacker isn't a crew member, Stussy has already proven her loyalty to Vega Punk, and, to be honest, we've never seen Stussy messing with the lab's computers. That is why I think one of the Vega Punks is a traitor right now. What happens to the real Vega Punk is also a mystery. Could the traitor have harmed him in some way? We also finally saw Vivi. It turns out that Vivi was in the ship with the Morgans and Wapple. Really interesting trio. It appears that we will finally see a flashback of Kuma in the next chapter. The flashback part of this chapter was pretty sad and I can't think of the next chapter. So, what did you think of the chapter? Do you think there is a traitor among the Vegapunks? The real Vega Punk is where? Please share your views with me in the comments. That's it for today. Thanks for watching the video till the end.